Welcome to OSM Fencing Beginner's Foil. I'll be your coach, Orion Stone McNeil. This is going to be our final part to our four-part introduction to Beginner's Foil. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at second intention. Let's get started. A second intention action is where you are doing an additional action after your first one. So this could be an incomplete action where I attack and I miss and I try to hit again without taking right of way. Or it can be taking the form of an attack that gets parried and instead of getting hit, I make my own parry against it. So second intention, these are actions that follow your first action. Some of them give you right of way back, others don't take right of way, and they're just a gamble, hoping that you can make the hit. The first action we're going to be looking at for second intention is going to be the counter parry or pose. Now, in warming up to this counter parry, we're just going to do a double parry, that is, I'm going to make a parry, and then Alizagada is going to make a parry against me, retaking priority. So if we're both on guard, Alizagada makes the attack, I parry, giving me right of way, I make my repose, which she parries, and then she makes the repose. So this is her warm-up drill. Now this is going to be our counter pair repose. You'll see a little bit more blade action when it comes to the parries. So again, Alexander is going to make the attack. I parry, I make my repose. She makes her repose, and I take it as a counter parry. This is my second parry, and I repose. This gives me priority, and it's two blade actions for me. The next second intention action we're looking at is the remise. Now the remise is kind of like a machine gun. That is, if you miss with your first action, you just keep going until you hit. The downside to a remise though, is that it doesn't really carry any right of way. So if I attack and I don't hit, I finish my action, Alizagada lunges, and we both hit. Right of way is switched to Alizagada because my first action misses she starts her own action, we both hit, she gets the point. So, what we're going to do is a remise, where I'm going to make an attack, I miss, and then I just go again. For this example of a remise, this time Ali Zagat is going to make the attack, and then make a remise. She's going to attack to my Inside line, miss, make a second action to my outside line. So she's going to lunge, she misses, she pulls her arm back and makes a second try to my outside line. If I don't hit her in any of those actions, it's going to be her point. However, if I did hit her after she misses her first attack, it's going to be my right of way. One more example of a remise is where it's no longer the same action in the same place. So if I make an attack against Alizagada and she steps away, I miss, I'm going to try and attack again. The second lunge in place, this is my remise. So I didn't have right of way, Alizagada didn't hit me in that action, I'll get the point. As an example of how I can lose right of way in an attack while trying my remise, I'm going to lunge at Alizagada, I'm going to miss, she's going to hit, and then I'm going to finish my second action by a remise to her outside line. In this situation, Alizagada has right of way. Even though we both hit, her action beat my second action. The last action we're going to be looking at is a counterattack. Now, a counterattack is not necessarily a second intention. It could be your first intention, the first action you do. 
The downside to a counterattack is that it does not have right of way. It is by definition a gamble. So if I'm getting attacked and I decide to use a counterattack as my defense, it means I'm physically trying to avoid being hit, but not parrying. I'm not trying to take right of way from my opponent. I'm just trying to make them miss while I'm trying to make the hit. So we're going to have a look at two different kinds of counterattack. One where we're displacing target by using distance, and another one where we're displacing target by dropping, lowering ourselves to avoid the touch. So this is our first counterattack. Alexander makes a lunge, it doesn't hit me, and I've taken a half step back while extending my arm. I don't have right of way here, but because she doesn't find the target, I'm able to get the point. So this is our first counterattack where I'm displacing the target by stepping away. Now this is our second counterattack. Now as you can see, I'm making a lunge, I'm trying to attack the high line, Ali Zagata displaces her target by ducking, avoiding being hit while hitting me. She does not have right of way, but because I've missed, she's going to get the point. Awesome, you guys, you were great. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is our last lesson to our four-part introduction to beginner's foil. It did go a little bit faster than our other lessons, so make sure you follow it up with uh, part four of our annex. And again, Ali Zagada helped out with this lesson. She was great. I hope you appreciated her work, and I'll see you next time.